Hello, my homies. One smart cat doing some more spell slinger. Today, I have worked out a very interesting cure build. Whenever I first started making this build, I was actually messing around with it with Jace. And I decided that just the splash of green wasn't enough for this to work. So now I'm solid full blue green with Kiora. And I'm honestly pretty excited about this one. So I looked at a lot of the decks and stuff that are running around the game right now and i wanted to figure something out that would be able to stand up to most of them in slightly different increments so it's not super specialized well, that's not true it is specialized in a sense of like i am working towards my own game plan but there are a number of combos in here that if they just so happen to pop off they can shut down a lot of the op opponent's strategies. Uh, starting off, the one that I want to show you is I have four mill cards in here. I have two millstones and two jarring insights. The reason that these are in here is uh, I said it in my last video, a lot of the meta decks right now are using class cards and if you get millstone or jarring insight at the beginning of the game you have a chance to get rid of their class card which will completely shut down their game plan if you get both of them early enough in the game jarring insight and millstone then you can guarantee to get rid of their stuff and what i mean by that is Whenever somebody plays a class card, the next level of the card goes within the next three cards on in their deck. So if you have Millstone, you're able to mill your opponent for two, which would get rid of two of the cards. And then after that, if you do Jarring Insight, the first thing that it does is mill a card. It mills, then it draws a card. So that definitively gets rid of the next three cards on the top of their deck, which will get rid of their class card. So that's one of the combos that are in here. A couple of other things that are going on in here. The mana constrictors in there just for just a little bit of slowdown because the object of this deck is to try to get, try to get a bit ahead whenever it comes to mana gems. And anything, any way that we're able to slow him down, even with its mana, mana constrictor, is very, very good. And not only that, it's happened a couple of times already where going into the middle of the game, I get both of my mana constrictors and I just drop them down for one drops. And whatever the next card is, is going to cost two extra now. And that can really fuck, you know, fuck people depending on what card they get. We are going for a bit of ramp because if you haven't noticed it, I do have epitome of might in this deck. I love epitome of might. And the ramp that we're going for are using the birds of paradise in order to get the temporary stones. And then we have the tide shaper in order to get the actual empty many gems. And then the one of the other combos that I'm working with is where is he at? So the Elvish Explorer, whenever this guy fights on your turn, you get an empty mana gem. What that means is most of the time people just let this thing through unless they have a way to deal with it. People don't, you typically don't want to give you that empty mana gem. So with him, we force people to fight him, either using the tracker or using grudge match now the other thing with the tracker and grudge match is i have two anacondas in this deck this is these are all like little mini combos so the two anacondas they kind of do the same thing or they don't do the same thing but they the mindset 
is the same thing as the Elvis Explorer. People will either chump block the Anaconda with something small in order to just get it off the field, or they'll just let it by. Using the tracker or using grudge match, this thing literally just becomes a removal creature. Like you can use him to get rid of anything that's on the field. You know, as long as you're able to make him fight the other person. Is there anything else in here? Um, the other stuff is, you know, just typical green stuff in order to keep us going. I do have a gate in here uh, because we honestly don't. Our, our mana curve is pretty low. Like the highest thing in here is a epitome of might and plot. Besides that, with such a low mana curve, we will probably just have two mana left over at different times. We can throw up negate and, you know, make sure that our stuff is able to get through. The I'm using, I'm not 100% on this land yet, but for the couple of test games that I did, it has been working out to the point that with my ramping, by the time I get to turn seven, if I have one, two, three creatures, I have enough to put out a pity of me a might. Like, you know, on turn seven or sometimes even earlier. So that's what the land is for at the moment. I'm not anchored in on it yet, but it has been working out for me. Also, aim high in there is for two reasons. It buffs all your creatures, you know, plus two. And then the main reason, obviously, it gives them reach. That way we're able to deal with the pesky flyers that are also running around some pieces of the meta. And yeah, that's our game plan. It's to basically ramp, handle the opposition, and then uh, pity me a might as early as possible. That way, all of these mugs that aren't super, super strong, they all become 10 tens. So I have done a couple of games. It has been working out and yeah, hopefully now that I'm recording, it'll keep working out. <laughs> Let's go. Kiara versus Nissa. Hey, this is a fellow Scalawag. Somebody from my, my team on here on the game. Let's see what they're running. They're playing Nisa with life gain. Interesting. None of our mill cards. It's kind of sad, but it's okay. Hello, little friend. Okay, she's not running any class cards, so the fact that we don't have our mills is fine. She puts out a cocoon. So this is one of our combos. And another reason why I have her is to buff him up. So for the time being, we're going to go ahead and use our mana gem, even though typically I want to save the temporary. In this case, we'll use it to put her out. And the only reason I try to save the temporaries is that just gets us to epitome of might faster. But I mean, beyond that, if if you need to put shit down, put shit down, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so. We'll go into our tides next, most likely. The fact that she's doing life gain and is looking for a card draw so early, she's probably doing the uh, the OTK, which is boo boo. OTK is kind of boring, but oh well. Um, can I kill her? Honestly, I want to use this for that, but I don't want to give. Her, I don't want him to have any card draw. Sit 
welcome. If I must. If you figure out what your opponent's doing, then you need to do your best to stop them. <laughs> Because from it, what it looks like right now, she's trying to... <laughs> really? Both of those came out as that? Okay. She's putting up defenses, and she's trying to... I know the way. Ramp I know the way. and... Card draw. I'm assuming to look for her OTKs. So let's do... I know the way. If she swings with that, we're gonna actually let him buy. No. I missed. Watch yourself. Uh. Yeah. If he, if he swings with both of these, then I'm just gonna block that. Take the four for right now. Where? So I'm gonna boost him with that. Why did you not do anything? Life is for the living. I don't like that he has four mana. I could have put out one of these, but honestly, the fact that he has four mana, I don't trust it. So I went with a negate. Huh. He just sat with four mana. Strange. Please concede. I'm going to get more mana than he is. So that's why I was willing to do that. I can't just let that thing keep hitting me for four. This is why this is here. Well, this is one of the reasons why this is here. So this will give me another mana. And then we'll get another mana from this. And then if he chooses to block, we'll get a mana from that. And if not, then we're just going to hit him for five. No. And I'm going to go ahead and spend this temporary mana just to put up uh, a negate. We might as well, since we have it. He has eight mana. We don't know what kind of spells or anything he's going to try to put out. Now remember that with this land, the more people... Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, I have negate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I completely had, I forgot I had negate. Uh, with the land, as many creatures as I have, I gain. So that's fucking perfect. So even though these are zero ones that they've just been sitting here the whole time, they literally made it so that I can do my epitome of might. So now everything in my deck, every creature in my deck is now a 10-10. But she's getting a lot of mana and she's she's looking for something. Hopefully she doesn't have it yet. I mean, that's good to get my 10-10 off the field. But anything else that comes out of that deck is going to be a 10-10 now, so... We just keep swinging and putting stuff down. 
uh, pretty much our game plan has gone off the way that we wanted to. So we just need to get stuff out on the field before th they do anything crazy. I need creatures now is what I need. I need to draw my 1010 creatures. Uh, that doesn't give me enough. But if we do this, now if he blocks, he's going to die. I brought backup. Impossible. And now we have this. Because I completely forgot that Kior, <laughs> that that's Kior's passive. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. We're going to hang on to that. <laughs> that's funny. So like that even goes even better with uh, the whole ramp that we're doing. But I mean, he's doing, his ramp is better than ours right now. Pick your poison. Hopefully I draw a creature, that way I can put down a 10-10 creature. Because I kind of want to keep this in my hand. Oh, that works. Ooh, there we go. That's what I want. A 10-10 creature, that's one mana. And then a 10-10 creature, that's... Or a 10-10 creature, that's, that's uh, two, two mana. That's what I want. That's perfect. So, unless he has another board wipe with our puffy fish, we should be game. <laughs> well, whatever he puts down, we have this to put it back in his hand. He didn't put anything down. I mean, we're not going to put anything down. I'm not going to put that down. Which, he has a lot of cards, but we're still in control. We just need to draw a creature. And whatever he puts down right now, we're going to put it back in his hand. The wild has your back. I am not he still needs more card draw. What is he doing? Is he trying to mill himself? I am confused. Is he trying to mill himself? <laughs> what did he splash? Did he splash blue? He did splash blue. Life is for the living. Uh, that's fine. That doesn't do anything. If he's trying to do Maniac, which would be crazy, um, I'm going to keep this in my hand and just put it back into his hand <laughs> after he puts it out. Is that what he's trying to do? No, there's no way because unless he had Maniac from the very beginning. Because I was going to say... Nothing if not fair. I have aim high. <laughs> Please consider. <laughs> no. Impressive work. Well met. <laughs> Eat dirt. Oh, I'm sorry, baby Jew. Uh, I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing at the situation. I literally just had the card to beat you. 
<laughs> I love this part. That was awesome. Tiara versus Chandra. Okay, going against Chandra. This this will be a good test for this deck. Let's get it on. We do have some early blockers. Um and all that good stuff. If she's running anything that's close to meta, she's using the Barbarian class card. So let's get rid of both of these to try to see if we get any of our mill cards. There's our stone. And there's our epitome of might. Hello, little friend. Avenge them. There's the Barbarian class card, like we said. So since we don't have our insight, we can't guarantee getting rid of that. So what we are going to do, deal two damage to a random enemy creature strongest. So we, not, we don't know if she's gonna have that out yet. Let's go ahead and put out this, get our temporary. We're going to hang on to our temporary. And then the next thing we're going to put out is the millstone. And as soon as she plays her cast, her class card, we are going to millstone. And we're just going to hope that we get her class card. So there's no point in doing it now. Well, she's drawn two cards. If she has if she hasn't drawn her class card, then it's the next one on deck. So, we are going to mill. Okay. So she definitely has her class card in there. We're not going to mill again until she plays it. We want to keep at least one of these temporary standing so let's go ahead and do this for right now push our push our ramp a little bit quicker and we're not touching this until she plays her class card The fact that we have another millstone in hand, we could actually guarantee get rid of her class card. Because we'll use the charge on this, which we'll get rid of two. And then we'll put this down and use the charge on this and get rid of the other two. So her class card is not... We, she's not going to get her last class card. Life is for the living. She does have some emblings, though. I hunger. I made a friend. We're gonna let that six go through. Uh, this will get rid of our temporary, but. It will give us a permanent one though. Let's go ahead and do that. I know the way. Sick em. This deck is full of combos. Please concede. We are low health, but we are in our Good board state, at least. Unless she lava waves or something. As long as she doesn't destroy all of our creatures right now, then we should get Epitome of Might. We are going to have to block one of these. Will that still give us Epitome of Might? 
Is it turn seven yet? It's not turn seven, is it? It's not turn seven. We'll block one of these. Please concede. Because I have seven mana, but this doesn't start working until turn seven. She's afraid of this mill, which is why she hasn't played her class card yet. Which is fucking funny. The reason I'm not putting this down is because if I put this down, it will add charges to that. And we do not want it to add charges to it. We have no choice but to trade. No. The green beckons. It takes us to nine. Life is for the living. I'm assuming she's in there. Oh, no. We're getting very close to Lava Axe territory, so. <laughs> she has had her class card in her hand this whole time. But, I mean, if she has Lava Axe in her hand right now, it's game over. Yeah. Fight the fire? Yes, sir. But the funny thing about that is, just having the Millstone on the board kept her from using her class card the entire game. She just kept it in her hand. <laughs> And as far as I'm concerned, that's just as good as her, uh, as us milling it, you know? If she doesn't use it, it's the same thing as us milling it, so I'm completely fine with that. Alright, going against a Sarah. What kind of Sarah we got? Life Gain Angels? Life gain flyers, just all flyers, birds included. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I kind of like this. We're starting with our epitome. We do have a jarring in case he has a class card. Uh, does look like he's doing some sort of life gain. He has the life gain land over there. Hello, little friend. All right, no class cards. Don't have to worry about any of those, which is good. I'll take the lead. Let's go ahead and have something out that uh, gives us a little bit of defense and everything. We want to control the board for two reasons. Number one, she is going to have a lot of life gain. Or she's just going to have, you know, her primary life gain, which is this right here. And she's going to have this life gain whenever that pops off. So we need to get control of the board. That way we can make sure she doesn't get too far ahead on life. And also we need to have creatures on the board by round seven for our land. Hmm. So... We may just be playing a bit defensively starting off until we can get something else that can uh, take control of this. I will probably trade with it here 
Ooh. These are so these cards are so good. I'll trade with it here. No, I'll trade with it here. Uh what is this? This is a 2-2 two -two as well. Okay, I'll trade with it here. Because we lose a 2-2, two -two, but I'm going to put down another 2-2, two -two, so it'll be all right. Or I can put down these. Mm. Let's stick with this. I'm going to hang on to that temporary stone for as long as i can uh especially whenever it comes to like the only thing i could have done right there was my jarring insight and i don't need a jarring insight right now so we're okay with letting that sit in iron i warned you i'm gonna actually let that three come in should i yeah i'm gonna let that three come in I've said it before, use your life points. So let's go ahead and put this down. I know the way. We now have an extra one instead of our temporary, so we'll go ahead and do jarring insight now. Just for the hell of it. That's a fine drop for us. We don't need that. That's a great thing to get rid of on his side. There's a bike on my monitor. Get out of there. I completely forgot about her. <laughs> I know that she gets the healing every round, but for some reason, I always forget that it's, you know, they also get it. Um, I need to take one of these boys out. I lose my potential manager, but hey, that's what we got to do. We're already getting close to round seven. I'll take the lead. Ooh, that's actually great. Yeah, let's do this. All right, so no matter what on our next turn, we'll be able to do our epitome of might, which is exactly what we need. And we also have our anaconda anaconda combo no with this and this. Uh, we can lose one of our other blockers. I brought back up. Let's go ahead and start off with our epitome of might. Now we can start being a bit more aggressive. Be so this next round, because now it's round seven. Fight on. That's, that's fine. I don't need it to attack. Like when people do stuff to this, yeah, it's a 10-10 creature. But once it's gotten on the board, I literally don't need it to do anything else. Good old Leviathans. Take heart. So we're good right now, even if she blows up the field with anything. I am no angel of mercy. Yeah, that's that's completely fine. Because everything that we get is now a 10-10. <laughs> 
Life is for the living. Uh, let's go ahead and set the negate in case she does try to clear the field. There's no point in really letting her. And then I wonder. So this is where is it? Destroys any creature it fights during your turn. So even though that thing has a shield, if we do this, Surrender. very nice. I mean, this is pretty much GG. I love that anaconda. Like forcing it to fight people is it's just so good. Throw in in a gate. I can throw in a mill. What is that? 21, 5, 6, 7, 8. I mean, if he wants the game to be over, he just has to not block. Take this. Oh, he's not going down without a fight. I like it. I like it, Boris. I like it a lot. Be don't ever, don't ever give up. Always, always go for it. I I need to keep the pressure on just because we don't know what he has. So we're going to throw everything where we can. We're going to double negate and then we're going to try to swing. You can block here and here and survive another round. So see if that's what he wants to do. Yeah, this guy's going down fighting. I like it, Boris. I like it. Go down, kicking and screaming. Hello down there. Fortunately, now that is GG, though. All right, we're not going to take her with any of this stuff. We'll just swing. There's nothing you can do here. No point in prolonging it. Good game, Boris. I appreciate you. That was good. So Sarah definitely isn't super super meta right now. Um, she's a little bit slow when compared with uh, some of the other stuff that's going on. I do have some Sarah decks though that I do run against the meta just because the life gain is actually good enough to kind of you know outlast uh, a lot of the aggro and stuff like that. But you know, either way, it was a it was a good match to go against this deck, and you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's not the best deck in the world, but I do appreciate the some of the combos that are in here. You know, the throwing the anaconda at people is awesome. <laughs> it's just a great random removal. Um, and like it can just be a body on the field, but whenever it's a body on the field, having the ability to, you know, throw it at somebody with grudge match or with, uh, the tracker, you know, it's just something else that you're able to do with it. The jarring insights and the millstone, you know, having those, if you get them early on, you can 100% get rid of the other person's class like unless they have like a negate or something you can 100 percent always get rid of their class which is awesome so hopefully you enjoyed some of this stuff hopefully i see you in another one of my videos and uh wee.